In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with uh, basic text elements including fonts and colors for your text. To begin with uh, we have a heading which is set um, with the tag H1. Now to change this from the default H1 font and size we simply select it as I have done here click on the CSS designer uh, panel and then choose selectors by clicking on the plus symbol here next to selectors and you can see that it automatically creates a rule called hashtag header h1 and what this rule means is that we are styling h1 inside the div called header so this type of rule is called contextual let's hit return and we are going to choose, instead of layout, we're going to choose the text property. Uh, we are next going to choose a color for our heading. Um, and I'm going to choose this dark red. Hit return. And then we're also going to change the font. So right now we have Times New Roman, which is the default for the heading one tag I think it's 24 point times New Roman I'm going to click on the font family and when you open the font family up you'll notice that you've got all of these different fonts in groups of their own so it's important to have a brief discussion right now about the way that fonts are displayed on web pages uh, designing for the web is not like writing a, a desktop Word document or a pages document um, or using rich text format where you can access automatically the fonts that are on your computer. When a web page is uploaded to a server, the uh, style sheet suggests the font that should be displayed if it is available on the client's computer meaning that if we choose this top font family uh, for our style then if the client computer or the person that is looking at our web page has Baskerville that will indeed be displayed as the first font if they don't then the next font to be displayed if it exists on the computer would be Palatino Linotype and then so on and so forth. If that doesn't uh, reside on the client computer, it would be Palatino, so on and so forth. So you choose font families um, instead of a specific font. So in this case, we're going to, and, and you notice that there are different types of fonts. So there are serif fonts, in this case, serif fonts um, like the one we have selected have small serifs at, on the end of letters so this little foot on the P um, uh, or or the little serifs on the end of the S here are, are um, ornamental so we refer to them as serifs there are sans serif fonts that we can select so here is a sans serif font family starts with Gotham Helvetica Neue um, Helvetica Arial and any other sans serif font um, if those aren't available on the client computer. So I'm going to go with sans serif here uh, and I believe I'm going to stick with Gotham. That sounds great to me. So here is my Gotham web font. By the way, if there's if, if you want to look at different fonts and some more exotic type of fonts in Dreamweaver you can also click on this manage fonts down the bottom and get access to Adobe Edge web fonts and these are fonts that are available and served up by Typekit um, so if you choose any of these fonts script will be added to your code to um, to pull in the font and make that available um, on the server uh, side uh, when your page is being, being viewed. So this is a pretty cool tool if you want to, as I say, get some more exotic fonts other than, other than the standard families. 
Um, but for the moment, uh, I'm going to choose Gotham, Helvetica, Neuer, and um, this font family. So it's a sans serif font. So now that I've got that styled, I probably want to create rules to make the body of my page and the footer match the same type of font. And there's a couple of different ways of doing this. The first is to actually click inside the uh, text area and I'm going to position my cursor right at the beginning of the um, main content div here um, which is called main as you can see down here in the breadcrumb trail. Um, and I'm going to position my cursor in there and I'm going to go to the insert panel and I'm going to choose paragraph. Now when I do this you'll notice in your code and always pay attention to what's going on in your code you'll notice that a P tag for paragraph has been placed in the front uh, or around the main body of text in this main div. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my footer so I'm going to just position the cursor in front of the NOFS copyright area and the footer, click insert, do a paragraph. So now I've got my um, two P tags wrapped around um, the text and my page and all I have to do is go back to the CSS designer panel and create a rule for P. So uh, to do that I just simply um, click on the plus symbol next to the selector uh, panel here and it defaults to wanting to style a contextual uh, or create a contextual rule P inside the footer div but I want all of my P tags to be styled in the same way so I'm just going to style P for paragraph I'm going to choose text and once again um, I'm not going to change the, the color but I am going to select the right family which is my Gotham Helvetica Neuer Helvetica Arial sans serif family and you can see there all of the text has now changed on my page to reflect that same font. So um, you don't have to use the same fonts on your page please be creative um, or conservative if you wish. Uh, the type of font you use uh, really creates a specific flavor um, or look and feel for your website. So um, that's how to work with text on your web page.